Hey folks, how's it going? I hope you're well and welcome to this video and I got some more 4D Bricks automation stuff. So in this order, I have a quad light controller, a quad sensor controller, uh, four sensors and four lights along with I think it's 12 one meter extension cables and some USB cables they go with the controllers so that's to add to the layout of Duncton um, of course the Duncton layout is kind of changing I've redone the base plates here which as you can see I've added the um, sort of 11 stud base plates that I cut from the Mako Toys base plates and uh, now I can lay the track kind of permanently and uh, then build the elevated town on top of that so that will be happening and I'll, there'll be a follow-up video of this but for this time we'll see how the sensors and the lights work on the Duncton layout and uh, see where I can put them and how much cable I've got to put them various different places so um, yeah let's have a look okay so for this video I have rebuilt the station the layout itself is fairly sparse but I'm trying to get it ready so I can actually build Duncton so I've placed two lights and two sensors at one end of the station and then two lights and the other two sensors at the other end of the station and then the controllers for the lights and the sensors are just by the station as well there really isn't I haven't covered any wires up or any cables up like that but like I say this is just going to be for a demo of what the 4D bricks automation stuff can do. If you haven't seen the original one, then uh, I'll put a link down below and a card up above so you can see that. Just as a quick disclaimer, I will say 4D bricks haven't sent me this for free. It's not a paid promotion. I bought this from their Europe Bricklink store and now it's been delivered. And so I'm just going to showcase it because I'm a fan of the 4D brick stuff. This is what I like, the automation stuff especially. It's going to go and, well, enhance any layout that I do so that's semi-permanent up here. And eventually I'll try and hide cables and things like that. But I think it just, uh, yeah, it just adds something to uh, Lego Railway that I wouldn't be able to do otherwise. If you're wondering how all of this is controlled, then I'm going to point you in the direction of the previous video again, because that explains all of it. And without further ado, let's see all the lights working and the sensors working and the trains doing their thing.
yeah, that's the 40 Bricks haul video. If you've watched this channel for any amount of time, then you'll know that everything is subject to change, nothing is permanent. So the next step now is for me to build the elevated town back up and then lights will be moved around before the tunnel section of that. But yeah, now it's fairly tidy. I can start developing it and I know what base plates are going where and what tracks are going where. So now I can start building, hopefully, something that's going to last a little bit longer than a few weeks. If you've enjoyed this, uh, give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, then click subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.